Hey guys, before the video, I just wanted to quickly let you know about the Z House's new Discord server. Basically, they're sponsoring us to help pay for the cost of the Z House, and what it is, is it's this sort of chat room that we're going to be using to interact with you guys. This week, we're actually going to be doing fan calls with whoever signs up, as well as doing a few t-shirt giveaways, so if that sounds at all interesting to you, top link down in the description, go sign up, and uh, we might actually chat, so yeah. Cool. What's going on guys, it's Patrick here, and welcome back to another Top 10. And ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to be going over the oldest, the boldest, and greatest set of weapons in Call of Duty Zombies. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to be looking at the Top 10 Assault Rifles. At the end of the day, there is no set of guns that really truly rivals Assault Rifles. And over the course of all of Call of Duty Zombies, this is even more true. If you look at the entirety of weapon sets over all of Call of Duty Zombies, you'll notice that most sets have some variabilities between games, while Assault Rifles have always just been dominant. Except for World at War when, you know, they didn't actually have ass assault rifles. Anyways though guys, this is going to be a pretty tight list, I mean going down the best of the best, but I think you will enjoy it and uh, let's get into it. So coming in at our number 10 spot guys, this is going to be a gun that I just get excited talking about. It's the Commando. The Commando was an icon of Black Ops 1 Zombies and I honestly think that that was made even more true after Chronicles dropped because everybody was saying where is the Commando? Black Ops 1 was a weird game because there were very few assault rifles as wall weapons, so you basically had to rely on box lock. And Commando was just one of those guns that when you get it, everything is now great. It's just such a satisfying gun to use. It's got great range, it's got great headshot damage, good amount of ammo, and is one of the best Black Ops 1 assault rifles. Number 9, the Man O' War. So despite still being on our top 10 list, I kind of feel like Treyarch had planned for this gun to be a top 3 weapon. There's a lot of hints that Treyarch dropped that this would be the new power assault rifle. I mean the code name for it is literally called AR underscore damage. And you'll also notice that number one, it doesn't appear as a wall weapon in any map ever. And the other piece of evidence that suggests that Treyarch thought it would be the best assault rifle is the fact that it's the only AR you actually get from the purple pods on shadows. I mean, it's an overall pretty good gun, but honestly, I think the community is in agreement that there are definitely better assault rifles in Black Ops 3. So for that reason, it only gets number 9. Number 8, the HVK. Now this is probably one of my favorite guns in all of Black Ops 3, and you can tell that this is a power weapon because it's the most expensive assault rifle in all of Call of Duty Zombies. That being said, I still think there are some better weapons. Don't get me wrong though, the HVK is a beast. It's overall just a great gun. Good damage, good range, good ammo. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the HVK, but the reason I'm putting it at number eight was basically just a personal feel. But overall, still a good gun, and it comes in at number eight. Now moving down to our number seven spot, we've got a pick that a lot of you are probably not expecting, guys, and it is the Scar H from Origins. The Scar is honestly probably the most underrated assault rifle in all of Call of Duty Zombies. It's an amazing assault rifle, but it was just put into the wrong map. The Scar H has to compete with the fan favorite MP40 and Boom Hilda, the STG, the Mark II, and all four staffs. Not to mention the free MG08 that you can get. So realistically, although it's an amazing assault rifle, it just genuinely doesn't get used very often because there's so many better weapons. The thing that I really love about this gun is the accuracy and the headshot damage. This is a gun that I just feel so confident with when I have it. It's a sleeper man and it comes in at number 7. Number 6, the KN44. I mean this gun is literally just a reskin of the AK-47 which was only ever in one map, Mob of the Dead, and really wasn't even that good. The KN44 is a great weapon. Not only does the KN44 have great damage, great power, fast reload, good amount of ammo, it's also a wall weapon. There's something weird about Black Ops 3 where Treyarch's like, let's just take all the good assault rifles and put them on the wall. I feel like it really eliminated the need for box lock, but at the same time, just it completely switched up the game. And the KN44 was one of those guns at the forefront of just absolute savagery. But I mean, what else would you expect? It's just a reskin of the AN-94, which is just a reskin and modernization of the AK-47. The AK-47 is one of the icons of Call of Duty, and any reskin of that gun is going to be amazing. Number 5, the M27. 
I don't know what it is about Black Ops 2, but they just threw in so many low-key amazing assault rifles. The M27 only exists on Nuketown, and it is a beast. It's personally my favorite assault rifle of all time, just simply for the, the, the sleek look of it, as well as the headshot damage. It's an amazing weapon, and I just, I feel so sad that it only happened to appear on one map. I just feel like it would have made really good additions to maps like Buried and even Mob of the Dead. But because it's only on one map, I feel like it does make the gun a little bit more special. So anyways, it's our number five pick. Number four, the ICR. Now, if the M27 is our number five pick, this shouldn't surprise anybody that I'm putting the ICR right beside it because they are the exact same gun. These guns almost have identical stats, but the reason the M27 is below the ICR is in every category, the ICR slightly beats it. The Mystifier does 220 headshot damage, the ICR does 250. The M27's got 30 in its mag, the ICR upgraded has 45. Now the M27 does shoot a little bit faster, but I think overall these are essentially the same guns. And the last thing to remember is you can get the ICR on the wall. Anytime you can get a gun on the wall, that instantly makes it better because you can get more ammo for it and you don't have to hit the box over and over trying to get it. And honestly, for a very long time, the ICR was my favorite assault rifle in Black Ops 3. Anyways though guys, moving into our number three spot, we've got the icon of assault rifles of Call of Duty Zombies. It's been in Black Ops 1, it's been in Black Ops 2, it's even been in Black Ops 3. We have the Galil. It's crazy to only be putting this at number three, but I think that just shows you how good some of these assault rifles actually are. And listen guys, I could talk about the Glue for another hour and I'm sure some of you would love that, but at the end of the day, the only thing I gotta say is, it's been in Black Ops 1, it's been in Black Ops 2, and they finally put it in Black Ops 3. I think that speaks for itself. Now moving down to our number two pick guys, we have the FFAR. Not the FAMAS, not the Black Ops 1 FAMAS, not that thing, that was eh. The FFAR from Garad Krovi. The FFAR is stupidly good, beating almost every assault rifle in almost every category. 540 total ammo, 90 shots per magazine, 800 rounds per minute. And on top of all of that, an extremely high headshot multiplier. Dude, there are very few guns better than the FFAR, and honestly, I feel like it's one of the most underlooked guns in Zombies. I am the biggest fan of the PPSH, but when I get this thing from the box, I'll usually take it over a PP. But not even the sheer tenacity of the FFAR can compete with our number one pick. The AN-94. Or should I say, the Black Ops 2 Game Breaker. There is no wall weapon that is more overpowered than the AN-94. The AN-94 can rival, match, and beat every single gun on this list. The only weapon that would even be up for debate against this thing is the FFAR. But here's where the AN-94 comes out on top. It's got more ammo than any other assault rifle in Call of Duty Zombies. Not to mention it's got one of the highest magazine sizes as well at 50. But you know what Treyarch decided to do with this stellar weapon? They put it on the wall. On Die Rise, all you have to do is go down an elevator shaft and it's right there for 1,200 points. That's cheaper than the stakeout in Black Ops 1. That's cheaper than the World at War bar gun. That's cheaper than the Nocturne Totem cabinet. It's almost the same price as Claymore's. Oh, and did I mention that on Buried it's a chalk drawing so you can place this weapon wherever you want in the map. Yeah, it's, it's a little overpowered. I would honestly argue that pound for pound, the Galil is about its equal and the FFAR is better, but the thing is, is it's a wall weapon. The only weapon that even comes close to matching this thing is the PDW, and that's only in the same maps that the AN-94 is in, so no one ever uses the PDW. And to top all that off, I personally feel like the AN is the only assault rifle that feels overpowered. The other good guns you have to get from the box, but this thing you just throw it in and grab it. I mean, the ICR is a good wall weapon, but it's still no AN-94. So anyways, guys, that is going to be the list for today. Please let me know what you thought of this list. It was a tough one to make, literally the best of the best, but I did my best for the best of the best. Anyways, thank you guys very much for watching. I will see you later. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, check out our other videos, drop a like, comment down below, and I will see you later. Peace out, you freaking nerds.